If you're looking to buy, repair, sell, update, or restore your Apple Mac, Minko's Max offers a personal, genuine service to all customers with many years of experience and specialist technicians in store. All right, so here we're going to be doing a GPU DMOX disable job on this MacBook Pro. And the common fault with these are the GPU. You can reflow them, put a new GPU chip on, it's, it's gonna come across the same issue because the GPU chips themselves have an issue with the solder that connects the die to the substrate board. So when you do a reflow, you're only reconnecting the substrate board. It doesn't really help out when it actually comes to the issue. It's, that's a temporal fix. What we will be doing here today is a permanent fix. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the following equipment, this lattice programmer and a Windows machine. That's what you will need. So to start off first, you want to go to the PL reset resistor, which on this 15 inch will be here. Now, what you want to do is you want to jump a wire to it, to a ground point. So I will demonstrate doing that now. Uh, this wire is too long. So you don't want to use a wire that's too long when you are dealing with um, the smaller resistor because it may touch other points and that's the last thing you want. Keep the wire short. So this will have to go to ground. So to carry this signal over to ground, first pre-bend the wire and choose your determined point. So in my case, the point will have to be one of these grounding pads here next to the actual resistor. What's better to use for this is Teflon wire rather than the wire I'm using here, which is standard coated wire. All right, so now that's been done, it may come undone. I should have put flux down here beforehand, but you want to get the ground connection. All right, now once you've got the ground connection, the next thing I'm going to do here is a specific way that we get these things done is to get a MagSafe 2 connector. And what you want to do with this MagSafe 2 connector off the board is you want to also get the mail end and you end up making a wiring harness like this because when you directly connect these, these tiny programming pads for the, uh, the MUX chip that controls the GPU, they can easily be ripped off. So you want to use this connector as most of the mechanical stress is evenly distributed and it just makes it so you only have to plug this in one way. So when we do these jobs, we just solder down this female connector for the MagSafe 2 um, charging board. And then we just connect to this and that goes straight into the lattice programmer. All right, so now we have the program connected. As you can see, it's an orange light. The battery is connected. We've got our PL and reset jumper set in for the resistor. And we've got this connected via the MagSafe 2 connector. Now, first thing you wanna do is press the power button. You will get no display. As you can see, there is no display. Expect that. You will get fans, that's fine. Next, you wanna apply your license key and you wanna flash Gmux. So we'll download the firmware and then it will prepare it and start flashing the GMUX firmware. As you can see, the GMUX firmware is now flashing. You always wanna check your connection, especially if you're using this MagSafe 2, it doesn't perfectly align. As you can see, I've had to put some wires in for uh, as little spacers or jumpers for the actual connection. And as you can see, the DMUX has been done properly. All 
All right, so now the flashing is done and we've removed the connector, the PL reset jumper as well. So now we're going to boot the system externally and just show that the GPU is no longer picked up by the machine. Getting a chime, that means it's passed all its hardware checks. All right, so now we're gonna boot into an external system just to show that the GPU is no longer attached. Previously, this MacBook would not even pass this stage due to the GPU issue. So booting even from the internal system or an external system, it would not even show the loading bar and the Apple logo itself would be really rough. All right, so now we're into the external system. If we go to system information, Now, what you should see when you go to the graphics or display option, you should see GMUX version. It should say D051AB, spelling DOSLAB. And you should only see the integrated Intel HD graphics. And you should not see the AMD GPU at all, which in this case, we cannot see this at all. So that's a GPU disabled job via DMUX.